Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. In this video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the red-legged partridge. Around the world, there are many species of bird that are reared in captivity and then released to be hunted for sport and for food. In Europe, one of the most popular birds for this is the red-legged partridge. These are small birds with wingspans of 47 to 50 centimeters and grow into weights of 400 to 550 grams. They are slightly smaller than an average wood pigeon. Red-legged partridge are quite complicated to describe as they have so many colors and patterns, but I'll start with their legs, which I would argue are more pink than red. They have chestnut undersides, brown backs, barred brown and cream sides, and gray chests. Their throats are mottled black and gray with a cream colored bib and they have a cream colored eye stripe, brown on top of their heads and both their beaks and a ring around each eye is red. Although they can fly when they think they're in imminent danger, most of the time they prefer to walk or run. Adult red leg partridges are mainly seed eaters, although they will sometimes eat new shoots, leaves and occasionally insects. Young birds are more omnivorous, eating a larger proportion of invertebrates to get the protein that they need to grow. In the UK, they're mostly found around farmland, which is where they're released, but they will also venture into grassland and urban areas, sometimes being seen in parks and gardens. There are several reports of them living deliberately with wild rabbits, but I can't find any hard evidence to support this so perhaps take it with a pinch of salt. Although the vast majority of red-legged partridges in this country are captive reared, some are around 6 million birds every year, there is a wild breeding population of between 90 and 250,000 pairs. Pairs form in early spring and then the male creates a series of scrape type nests on the ground. Quite uniquely, the female will often lay a clutch of eggs in one nest and then move to lay a second clutch in a different nest. If this happens, the male will incubate the first clutch alone and rear those chicks himself, whilst the female incubates the second clutch and will rear those chicks on her own. If the female only uses one nest, she'll do most of the incubation with occasional help from the male. Each pair will produce between 10 and 16 speckled cream eggs that measure about 4 cm in length and take 23 to 24 days to hatch. Once the chicks do hatch, they are precocial and they are up and about within hours of hatching and can feed themselves straight away. The young birds are covered in mottled brown fluff but develop quickly. They are able to fly within 14 days but stay together as a family group into the winter. Red-legged partridges will only nest one time per year and although they are not monogamous as a rule, they do sometimes mate with the same bird in multiple years. I just wanted to quickly say, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button so YouTube can recommend it to more people like you. Thanks. All of the red-legged partridges in the UK are at some point descended from introduced birds. They were first brought to the country in the 17th century from France, but they are also native to Spain, Portugal, Germany, Andorra and Northern Italy. In some of these native ranges, the birds numbers have been slowly declining since the 1990s and wild breeding bird numbers have also slowly decreased here, although their range does seem to be spreading northwards. They have a low average lifespan in areas where they are hunted but they can live for 3 to 5 years outside of those places. The oldest ringed wild bird survived for 7 years, 7 months and 2 days. Here is a red leg partridge's call. And there we go, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about some birds in the British countryside then click this one here with things you need to know about the pheasant. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
What's that noise? 